Hey guys, how's it going? Today, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a full tutorial of Maker World's Maker Lab. So, let's get started. All right, guys, so here is Maker Lab. And if you're not aware what Maker Lab is, it is an AI 3D generation tool that's attached to Maker World. And Maker World is Bamboo Labs STL website that you can download and upload STL files. They have every single STL file you could possibly think of on this website. And Maker Lab is attached to Maker World, but it is their AI generation tools. So once we get here to Maker Lab, we can see all the different tools that they have available to us. So if we only have a single color printer, we come here to single color friendly models and make a model for our printer. If we have a multicolor printer, we can do a little bit cooler models and generate a little bit different models than just a single color printer. But most of them are exactly the same, like this image one and this one you won't be able to do with single color, obviously because it has more than one color on one layer. But most of these models are for single color printers. So we can come here over to all and then click which one we want to generate. They have print you, which you can make your own figurine. All you do is upload a picture of yourself and it'll make a 3D model of that person you upload. And then we also have Canvas Chroma, where you can turn any image into a vibrant painting. Uh, Christmas Ornament Maker, Image to 3D Modeler, which is my favorite. You can upload an image of anything and it will make a 3D model of that and a pretty accurate one too. We're going to be checking that out today as well. Lightbox Maker, makes you lightbox of any picture or text you want. Flexi Toy, again, any image you upload, it turns it into a flexible toy. Relief Sculpture, when you upload an image, it makes a relief sculpture of that. And this is an actual statue make maker. When you upload a picture of yourself, it makes you into a statue. So I can go on and on, but most of these are basically the same as the top ones, as in the sense that you upload a picture of what you wanted to generate, and then it will go ahead and generate that for you. So same thing with this sign thing, you just go ahead and type in what you want to say and how you want to look, and it will make the sign for you. So a lot of these are just like that. All you're going to do is upload the picture you want or scan the thing you want or type in the words you want and it will make a model for you exactly how you want it. But today we're gonna to be checking out Print You and Image to 3D because I think these are two of the coolest models that Maker Lab has. So we can start with Print You. Print You is one of my favorite ones and what you can do is make a miniature person of yourself. All you do is click what kind of style you want it, cartoon, chibli, bobblehead, emoji, apply the style, upload a picture of yourself. So I'll do a picture of Ryan Seacrest. He is so good looking. So we'll do a full body picture. All right, that's a great picture of him. He's looking fantastic in that picture. So we'll come over here and we'll go to that picture of Ryan Seacrest and then we'll generate a 2D image. And after that's done generating, we can generate a 3D model from the 2D image it generates. So here it is loading. So here is that 2D image it made of it and then you can come here and click generate 3d model and then it'll act make the actual 3d model for us that we can go ahead and then download as a 3mf file which has color or just a normal stl stl file which is a single color print hey guys real quick if you're watching this video you probably do a lot of 3d printing if that's you, I'd greatly consider Coax 3D Filament. It's made right here in the USA, prints clean, and stays consistent spool after spool. They even offer a 100% satisfaction guarantee, so there's zero risk. So use Austin's Lab for 10% off Coax 3D Filament. But now, back to the video. All right, and that model finished generating, and here it is. We can choose it with just three colors or 
all the colors or just the regular XTL. But whatever we want, we can go ahead and click export. We're going to be using some credits for this. You can see our credits up here, but we'll get some free credits for making an account on Maker Lab. So don't worry about using credits because you will get some free credits when making an account. So this will be free to you for a certain extent. So we're going to hit confirm, use some credits, and then it's going to ask us what kind of printer we have. If you don't have a Bamboo Labs printer, this is irrelevant. If you do, then I don't know if this matters or not. But anyways, we're going to click a printer, doesn't really matter, and then we'll click export. And then it's going to give us the option to download this as an STL or a 3MF or a GLB file, I'm pretty sure. But once this loads, I'll show you guys what we're talking about. All right, here it is loaded. We can download just a 2D concept picture ourselves if you want. Here's this the STL in one color, the 3MF in three colors, and then the GLB in multi colors. So we're just interested in the STL today because we only have a single color printer. We'll see that it downloads the zip for us. We can do show in folder. I'll extract that off screen here. And then I'll go ahead and I'll open that up. And we'll see our slicer opens up because I'm opening up the STL file we just downloaded. And we'll see what this thing looks like in our slicer. All right, and here it is in our slicer, ready to print. We go ahead and slice that thing, generate the G code and send it off to our printer. It only takes an hour and a half. But anyways, this is how you can generate a figure from a picture using Maker World's um, tools. So another thing we can do is image to 3D model, which is one of my favorite things to do. So if we want to, we can come to chat GPT and ask it to generate us a model. So I want a Benchy boat model with guns and laser turrets. Let's do lasers. I spelled turrets wrong in my last video and somebody drilled me about it. Benji built model with guns and lasers for 3D printing AI model. Boy, right background. So I'm just showing you guys this as an example, but we could even generate whatever is in our mind, come to Jack GPT and get it to make us a picture of that. And then once it does, what we can do is download that picture and upload it to Maker Labs and generate a model from that picture. So you can see that I've done that a few times here. I've at ChatGPT generate me a Benji belt that's like it's in cars or one that's like a Toyota Supra. And it's done just that with ease. So here I asked it to make me a Benji belt with lasers. That looks a little bit too intense to print, but we're gonna try it anyways. So what we can come and come back here and do generate new model, come and find that chat GPT generated boat we just made, and then hit generate. And there's three different models you can choose from when you want to generate a model and I'll show you that here. There's the Hunyan Smooth Surfaces and Well-Defined Geometry, the Trippy AI 3.0, Fast Generation with Consistent Results, and the HitMed 1.5, Exceptional Details and High Fidelity. So you can choose which one you want to, how long you want to wait, how well you want the geometry to be defined and then hit generate. I just did this top one because it's the fastest and all around best with well-defined geometry. But once this is finishes up, I can show you guys what this generation looks like compared to that boat we just 
generated, which looks like this. So whenever this is done generating, we'll touch back base and I'll show you guys what that looks like. All right, guys, that model finished generating and here it is. Here is the non-colored version. And I think it did a pretty good job in doing a representation of the picture that we gave it. Um, here is it with all the colors. So what we can do if we want to use this model, come up here and click export, just like the other, other model that we generated, that figurine. Again, the printer does not matter. And once this done loading, it'll give us the option to export in those three file types again. And here it is. Here's those three file types, STL with one color, 3MF with three colors, and GLB with multi-colors. So if you want to use this for any kind of purposes or any model you generate with MakerLab, you have to copy and paste the following link right here for whatever kind of model you used. Um, so again, if you want to download it, just click over whichever one you want and then click download. And then we'll see it download up here. I'll double click that and open it up in our slicer and I'll show you guys that this is a ready to print model. So obviously with these laser bursts and some stuff might need a little editing and cleaning up. Um, but for the most part, whatever you generate here looks pretty good. The geometry is well defined and they are good enough just to print as is. So here is that boat that we just generated in my slicer and I mean look at those windows look at those lasers like everything looks pretty good go ahead and slice that up obviously it'll need some support somewhere it's gonna give me some errors but there it is sliced up ready to print so like I said earlier all of these basically function the same as those last two models that we just looked at so you upload a picture or you type in the text or drag and drop the images that you want in the picture that you're going to customize, whether it's this, this, this one, the make my sign, the make my lantern, the AI scan or whatever. Just follow the prompts it gives you, give it what it wants, type in what it wants you to type in or what you want to type in, customize it how you want to customize it. And that's what these apps are for, for you to customize models yourself without having any 3D modeling experience whatsoever. You can make a cool flexi toy. You can make a relief sculpture. You can make a statue of yourself. You make a cool keychain of your favorite sports team. You could even organize your desk, all with these tools right inside of Maker Lab. So just follow the prompts on whatever kind of modeling tool you want to use, and you should have pretty good results, just like the two that we did together. But with all that being said, guys, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something and how to use Maker Lab. If you haven't before, please do because it is a super cool tool for people who don't have 3D modeling experience, who want to make their own 3D models. You can do basically whatever you want with ChatGPT, generating your own images and then uploading those images to this image to 3D generator. You can make a model of whatever your mind can think of. So I think that is pretty cool and you guys should definitely take advantage of it if you haven't. But again, guys, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. And if you like this video and want to check out some other videos from me, then check out this video where I'll show you guys how to turn any logo into a printable STL file. But again, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.